We're following developments and charges brought by the Portsmouth Police Department more than two months after protesters vandalized a Confederate monument. Good evening, I'm Regina Mobley. And I'm Stephanie Harris. Today, Senator Louise Lucas says she will be vindicated. She faces two felonies, and there are warrants for other prominent people in Portsmouth, including members of the Public Defender's Office, NAACP, and a school board member. The charges stem from a June protest when a Confederate monument was vandalized and a man was seriously hurt when a toppled statue fell on him. Ten Your Science Jason Marks has new information from the city's Commonwealth attorney. Well, Stephanie, a lot of finger pointing happening in Portsmouth like we've seen before. It's all happening here while, as you mentioned, in Richmond, Louise Lucas is now facing those two new felony charges. I will be vindicated. A short time after State Senator Louise Lucas turned herself into police, she was right back at work in Richmond. Yesterday, Lucas and several others were charged with two felonies for their roles in the incident at the Portsmouth Monument in early June. Last night, Lucas's daughter, Lisa Lucas Burke, who is a Portsmouth vice mayor, sent this email to council members saying she's lost confidence in police chief Angela Green. She's now calling for Green's termination. We reached out to Green for her reaction, but haven't heard back. Yesterday, Green said her officers went to take warrants out with the magistrate because they ran into a dead end with the Portsmouth Commonwealth attorney. When a discussion with the Commonwealth attorney regarding a special grand jury and special prosecutor did not yield any action, it was the duty of the Portsmouth Police Department to begin a thorough and comprehensive investigation into this incident. Today, Commonwealth's attorney Stephanie Morales says her office didn't request a grand jury because Green never brought over a case file for her to review. We still have not received any full investigative results in my office. Morales tells us it's standard procedure not to ask for a grand jury without reviewing the case file first. We don't just sit and say, you know, I don't want to go forward with this, so I'm not going to do anything. Once we receive a complete investigative file, we will make a prosecutorial determination. And so what happens next? Who will prosecute this case? Well, the Portsmouth Police Department would like to see a special prosecutor come in. But coming up tonight at 6, I'll tell you why Stephanie Morales says that she wants to keep the cases. That's coming up in an hour. We're live in Portsmouth. Jason Marks, 10 on your side.